like when I first moved over here, I was so happy. I could go outside and look at the earth. And when the sky turned blue or yellow or red in the morning, I was like, wow. But a couple weeks later, not too good. Something tell me it's going to be some trouble with the hornets. And one day she asked me a question. How long you have you been Holly here? I told her, I said, all my life. That's when she called me names. Dumb, stupid, retarded. I said, I'm hard of hearing, and this is how I talk. She said, well, the people that hard of hearing people do not belong here. They belong in a nursing home. I was angry. I was hurt. I said, just because I'm hard of hearing, that don't give you a right to call me names. But I kept on building up, building up, building up. Told my family members, I'm not allowed to have company. Told the pharmacy, oh, I don't live here. She abused her authority. The manager and the company did nothing about it. I got fed up with it. I said, no, I had my right to live in this building just like everybody else. So I took all my evidence. I take my complaint to the Fair Housing Center. She was the one that was harassing you, and she also denied people access to your apartment who were coming to visit you? Yes. Now, you're still living there, right? Yeah, they want me out, but I won't let them. Out of this case, I want them to realize what they did wrong. I just want somebody to look at me as a person treat me right the way I want to be treated. I'm human being. I don't look at myself as a disability. I look at myself as a person. It made me feel like I have the power to stand up for myself. I'm going to stay on my ground because I'm going to keep on fighting. If you believe you may be a victim of housing discrimination, contact your local Fair Housing Center or call HUD's Housing Discrimination Hotline at 1-800-669-9777. Remember, unless you report it, it won't stop.